Okay, so we're gonna be doing a little more craftsmanship here. Again, this is not like strict to the numbers. This is now creating and crafting pieces of lumber um, and, and materials that fit the structure that we've built. All right, all the, all the math has worked out. This has now become a pretty rigid structure. It's gonna become even more rigid now that we're gonna put on a piece of sheeting on it. Uh, this is T111 siding that we're gonna use. Now, <clears throat> it has a, a lap side and it has um, an overlapping and an underlapping side. So these, these create these lap joints where they slide either under one another or over one another. We're gonna pay attention to that as we try and conservatively use um, for, for this. This uses two, two sheets of, of this. That's it. That's it. And it's pretty conservative. And you'll see why it uses those two sheets um, in the way that we pick them up and we flip them. This is where the video really comes in handy. And so here's a, here's a helper thing. Um, what I did was down here, um, you'll see I added a board down here. This is just a, you know, a scrap piece of wood that was as long as the side is. And I screwed this in just underneath the plywood layer. So, so if we, you know, if we go ahead, we'll, we'll get close. Let's, let's go, let's go as we look at this in detail. So we got the plywood layer and then we've got this screwed in. And so what this does is it creates a lip for the plywood, for the uh, sheeting to, to stand on. Um, and it gives me an extra set of hands while I'm working with this. Um, so the sheeting is gonna come down and go over over this pressure treated layer and this pressure treated layer, but it's gonna stop just shy. Um, it's, you know, it's gonna lay right on this layer. So it's gonna, it's gonna create, um, it's going to tie together as we nail it, you know, nail or screw it in. It's going to tie in all of this framing and hold it all together. It won't tie in together the, with the framing that's underneath um, on the stand, but all of this from the floor up is all gonna get tied together. So here's the thing. I'm going to I'm going to do the camera here and then we'll we'll reposition it. So, let's see. Okay. Look at this. So I got that lip that's really helping me out. Now, what I'm doing is I'm taking one edge of this and I'm squaring it up with this side over here. I'm gonna use my knee to hold it. No hands, knees holding it. And I'm going to get one of these handy clamps. And I'm gonna just clamp this side down to either the roof rafter or one of the um, one of the studs. Now look at this. You know this comes and matches right up with those studs that we had here. So I'm just gonna take another one of these clamps. Ah, oh, there we go. I can just lean back now. If this is a windy day, <laughs> I'd be putting some clamps at the bottom and I'd be doing this fast. But this isn't a windy day. So so here, watch watch the magic of this. Um, now that we've got this on this side, so, so here, I want you to see all the scribing I'm going to do. This, just, I don't have to measure. Measuring is a pain in the butt with this stuff. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm copying the edges. And then when I cut it with the, um, with the skill saw, I'm cutting right on the line, all right? Maybe even just a little, a little more than the line so that it, that it falls and there's like a little bit of a gap right here. But watch this, watch this. Bam, that's gonna be one line. Boom, now the inside of the door, right to the corners, all the way to the bottom. This is gonna have my hinge side on it, so I'm gonna put an H. And then now on this side, the other side of the door. Now I put an arrow as to which side, when I cut this door out, I want to know which side is up and which side is down. So I put an arrow. That's up. That's where the hinges are going. And there is one little lip down here that's going to overlip that, that little bit of plywood down there. There's a half inch gap there that I'm going to just put, put that there to remind me that there's that half inch gap. Now, now I just take the clamps down, but here's the thing is that we're going to reposition this now on this side. Watch what I do with the board. I'm going to take it off, flip it upside down. Now, one detail I didn't point out was that this edge right here that um, that came to these boards, this was the underlapping edge. Now when I come to this side, I'm gonna have the overlapping edge here. So I wanna make sure that whatever edge I put, you know, 
there, I use the opposite edge here. That's gonna result in the efficiency later on when I get another piece of plywood that I can use the two opposite sides. So I'm gonna put my clamps handy where I can use them again. Underlapping side that was there. Now it's here at this edge. And then I'm just going to do the same scribing. So if I was putting like a little chicken door on this side or something like that, then I'd have the framing for that and I would end up scribing that out. But I've just got a roof line on this side. I don't know if you can see that, but my lines for the other roof are here. And there's basically just like two inches, two inches where these two roof lines come together and they're parallel. Um, that's how efficient this is. This is scrap. And then there's a two inch gap that's scrap. And then over here, when I cut this, this little piece of scrap. This uses almost the whole sheet, even though it's got all of these like angles, these 45 degree angles in it. It's, it's beautiful how little this wastes. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this, cut out the doors, show you what it looks like.